Good morning, it's Deacon Dave Lipinski. May God bless you always. When one person is fit, when a person is faced with making a major decision, a moral decision, a significant decision in their life, they have to balance what they feel is best for themselves and also how that decision may affect others. Because nothing we ever do simply affects ourselves. Others receive the effects and quite often how we do and make our decisions cause a response in others. This was brought back to me for two, through two things I saw in the newspapers. The first one I actually saw seven years ago. I recently saw the clipping again. And it was a column by a, a senior at Penn State in the Daily Collegiate. She was writing her senior column, which is usually something they write about themselves. And in it she shares her own story when at the age of 16, she found herself pregnant. She found herself pregnant. And in fear and, un and not knowing what to do, she asked a friend for advice and the friend suggested they should go to Maryland where at Maryland a 16 year old can get an abortion. Well, she chose to do that. She didn't tell her parents or anybody. She borrowed money from her friend. She went to Maryland and as part of the protocol prior to the abortion, a sonogram was done. And when she saw the sonogram and saw her baby, she left the abortion clinic. She couldn't go through with it. She went home, she shared with her parents that she was pregnant. She said she wished they were angry with her, but more was disappointed, but they said, okay, what are we going to do? And eventually what she decided to do was to give up her child for adoption. And the adoption would be semi-closed. She would not know where her child went, but she would receive pictures each year. Well, now at the age of 23, 23, she's graduating college, and she reflects upon the pictures she sees each year of her daughter. The daughter she almost cast away. And though she'll never have a direct relationship with him, she knows that her daughter is loved. And she knows in her heart she made the right decision because that decision affected her, her daughter, and all those around her. And when she made that decision, she deserved all the support and help that could be given. And there were many women faced with that same decision. And they deserve our love and help and assistance. The other side of that was brought up by an article I read in the paper quite recently. It was actually a movie review. And it was discussing a certain group of movies that were either on Netflix or just to local releases, talking about women's empowerment in their reproductive choices. And the one movie in particular talked about another high school girl, apparently around 16 years old, who finds herself pregnant and turns to a friend for help because the state she lives in does not have abortion clinics. So the rest of the movie is, as quoted in the article, is sort of a coming of age road trip buddy film. As the two of them travel to another state so she can have an abortion. Now, I've not seen the movie, nor will I bother, and the article doesn't mention whether she actually went through with the abortion, but the whole sense of that movie was what was going to happen to her, and there seemed to be no circumstance of what, how others would be affected by her choice. Again, women are faced with that same choice, and some women choose to go through with their abortions. And in so, it reminds me of the, of the bumper sticker I've seen, one abortion, meaning one dead and one wounded. Because that woman and her family around her have been wounded by that event. And even if they have done that, they still deserve to be loved and supported because they are going through that situation. And quite often women who have gone through that situation don't realize how much it may have affected them. There's a ministry that we call Rachel's Ministry, of working with women and families who have gone through an abortion to help them be healed, to help them to say goodbye to that child, to help them to move on with their lives. Men and women are making decisions about their lives and others every day of their life, and the decision to let life come through is one of the most critical. And as people go through that decision, they need to be supported. They need to be urged to respect life always. And if tragedy does occur and a life is lost, we have to pray for all those involved and seek to have them heal because that's the mercy of Jesus Christ. May God bless you and keep you all the days of your life.